Hey there, YouTube delicious. What's going on, sweet pea? It's that time again for me to answer some comments. Cue it. Cue that shit. Okay, now that we're done nighting this special little video, we can continue after my caffeination. Enjoy this commercial. Oh, that's good. Best part of waking up is the folders in your cup. <coughs> and, we're, and we're back. First off, this is in response to Boxer Watermelon Beer. Beer flavored with watermelon. Yeah. First off, we have the Naked Wombat from Australia. He says, Dear Mr. Boggy Flush, I take everything literally. Never asked me for a drink of any kind served on the rocks. What? Okay. Boggy Flush said, I wouldn't lick watermelon beer. I wouldn't lick watermelon beer if I'm the sexiest pussy in the world. Well, maybe I would. Is that a fetish? If I went to like X Hamster or like X2 right now and I typed in like watermelon pussy or like beer vagina, there would be a guy thing and some girl and it would be like a keg and people would be drinking from it. Hey, I'm sure there's videos on everything. Okay, <laughs> Naked Wombat says beer for pussies. No, it's not beer for pussies. It's beer for vaginas. <laughs> it doesn't taste half bad, you know. Don't knock it till you try it. Hey. Um, something I wouldn't buy all the time, but. <laughs> Buggy Flush. Water me lawn beer? I bet it's alcohol free, too. No, it's not. Mr. Flash, it is 8.5% alcohol. Mr. Albie, please be careful. This might be your first video to get a thumbs down from me. LOL. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, I'm in trouble. <clears throat> that would be a first from you. Oh, one of my loyal supporters. Today he has done me wrong. Shaky Vench the Shams down. Seriously, you want to see me cry, don't you? To my crying in the rain. Um, Jerome Opers, is that one liter? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's 710 milliliters. I don't know if you have milliliters in Deutschland, but yeah, 710 milliliters. So I think it's under one liter. <clears throat> I'm not even sure how much it is, like two, three bucks or something. It's pretty freaking big though. It looks like one liter. Uh, natophobia. Now, Natophobia is the artist previously known as Jelly Duck 100. Just so you're knowing. So it's really him, but he has a new name now. A new identity. Change. <laughs> Natophobia said it looks big, can beer. What a man. Oh yeah. But like I said, natophobia minus the seeds. Because seeds are... And how come seedless watermelon always has like the little white seeds in it? Like what part of seedless don't you understand? Mr. Wellen. Mr. Wellen. Mr. Melon. Mr. Melon. Zandru8 says, can I have some? I go cocoa for watermelon flavor. You are making me so jelly. Ooh. That's an emoticon of Xandru 8 going jelly. Cocoa. Cocoa for Cocoa Puffs. Did you take that from a commercial? Because, I don't know, sounds familiar. <laughs> Still 7 Geo says, Trying that is not on my bucket list. Despite your misgivings, I noticed you kept drinking it. Mmm. Beer. Mmm. Beer. Are you going for Homer Simpson thing? Because mission accomplished. I think your epic language. Despite your misgivings. 
the start of my misty beings this watermelon beer top cost me three dollars and twenty five cents. Therefore I shall continue to drink it and suffer through the pain. For you, George, Mr Still Seven Zero Despite my misgivings, it still keep me awake. Ooh, that's a thought, misgivings. Seeds. Seeds and misgivings. Go hand in hand. <laughs> We're talking about Spenny's 1953. Aussie pride. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Said, made for girls and wannabe girls. Pink beer, as for boxer. Relax in a hair salon, sipping a cold boxer while you pick out your new cutting material. Boxer. Because you're not homophobic. Have a good day, mate. Um, yeah. Did you know that Boxer Watermelon Beer is sponsoring the Gay Pride Parade in Toronto? This week, I think. I think so, yeah. Um, uh, yes. It's big here in Toronto. Boxer Watermelon Beer. Just passing around a watermelon. <laughs> they could throw out, like, samples during the parade. <laughs> I don't know if it's sponsored by them. But yeah, I mean it is pink beer. Drink what's your buttermilk and beer? Drink it with your pinkies up, pinkies up, bro. Pinkies up. Woo! <laughs> Janju, eleven seventy seven, long time no see. Where have you been? Your mother and I were worried sick. Don't be sorry, just don't let it happen again. I am from New Jersey, and I have never heard of this beer before until now. I don't want it, though. Why? Why don't you want this beer, Andrew? You don't like, you just like, are you one of these purists who's like, I like my beer that tastes like beer. I want no, I don't want no fruit in my beer. But you gotta make the beer gay. <laughs> Sean, 46, Sean 4670. Old dogs, children, and watermelon beer. Doesn't sound right, does it? I went to dark beer, real heavy stuff. I like dark beer, rocking with my dark beer all night queer. I like dark beer, real heavy stuff. No, 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 no. I like moth. <laughs> Whoa, enough with the drum solo. Well, shit's dangerous, yo. Careful how much you caffeinate yourselves. <laughs> Heavy stuff. I like some dark beers. Unless it's like Guinness or something. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Some dark beers I do like. Like, there's Heineken dark. There's dark Heineken. But again, only in the States. In Europe, I'm sure. Mum's the witch says, Watermelon beer? I think I'll stick to Cooper's Pale Ale. Cooper's Pale Ale? Nah, I don't. No, pale Ale is I can deal with. Like, Alexander Keith's India Pale Ale. That's big here in Canada. It's a local beer. I like some pale ales. Some of them taste bitter to me, but. Stratboy999 said, Watermelon doesn't taste of anything. I'm amazed that it actually. Yeah. Anyone actually bothered? Oh, it has taste, all right. It tastes pink. It takes the sunshine and lollipops and sunshine. And yeah, it tastes like ah, like a refreshing summer's day. It does taste like a bowl of sunshine. It's like gumdrops. It tastes like seeds. Ding, ding. Any excuse to do that? Ding, ding. No. It does have flavor though. Like it, it does taste fruity, and I'm assuming you're gonna take my word for it because you're not gonna run out and buy a can. <coughs> Miles Pro Tech MEC. That's the same guy, Miles Pro 2010. I don't want any of you guys to get mixed up. He said, "Sure didn't look like you enjoyed it by the face you made when you first took a swig." This face. That's the phrase babies make when they first try baby food. 
or depending on the mom, the first time to try the breast milk. Oh, really, mom? Really? <laughs> no, it was not bad. Maybe that was for dramatic effect. Ponder that over. Alright, I'm done with this video. I'll hereby pronounce this video finished. Oh shit, I fucked up the ending. Fucked up the ending.